And then for others of you, it's almost like um, being the life of the party, making a lot of connections, having being in really high demand during the holiday season as well. So you have like multiple places to go, mobulated, and you're trying to find your footing, you're trying to find your bearing. And it's not going to be, I feel like, until your birthday time where things are going to start to make sense in where you're going to feel like you're at the right place at the right time at the right speed for which events can happen for you okay so it's still a readjustment period i'm sensing so it's like you're launched from a slingshot and you're still gaining momentum and it's like there's friction in the air it's trying to slow you down okay so let me go into this reading these are your prediction cards and this is going to serve as your spiritual advice and we're going to go over these three cards in just a little bit uh, first of all, I have a little bit of a blast from the past coming into the picture, okay? So I can assure you, whatever relationship that has ended back in 2017, please don't let it go back into your life. Don't let it re-enter. Don't entertain it. Don't uh, Facebook stalk. Don't uh, Instagram stalk. Don't let your energy be affected by people from the past, okay? Especially exes. If they chose to leave, let them leave. There isn't anything there for you anymore. You're meant to be in a better space and you're meant to pursue new, 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 new relationships, okay? Let the past stay in the past, okay? So I'm just going to get that out there. First of all, we have here Ace of Wands and the nine of pentacles both of these are wonderful cards that indicates to me that you know your life is on track your financial um, foundation is very very stable and you guys no matter where you are like um i, I want to say romantically your money is always going to be high priority and that means your money is always consistent your money is always stable you know how to take care of yourself financially you know how to skimp in order to you know secure financial resources you know how to be resourceful as well and you will never stay in a job where you are underappreciated the way that a lot of Piscean and Virgo and people do and so I feel that I don't have to worry about you guys when it comes to your financial sector because everything is on point and this is a card about making our investment work for us some of you are dabbling in self-employment where you're making quite a bit of money you have new ideas creative uh, ventures as well some of you are dabbling in uh, selling renting of houses okay so this can be like um, you have a property and you have an extra room and you put it out for rent or you can Airbnb it and some of you are thinking about this and I feel like if you're thinking about it do it it's going to bring you a lot of financial abundance. Others of you might have real estate, loan, mortgage, real estate, home selling, flipping houses, or other side gigs that you're doing on the side in addition to your main job. And so you're accumulating a lot of wealth and you're coming into this year very hopeful to be able to grow your business and to expand your business. The Nine of Pentacles is greatly about investment, okay? It's about being smart with our money and making our money work for us. If you have extra money sitting idle in your bank account, it's a really good time to talk to a financial advisor and try to figure out what avenues you can start investing your money or looking at other side gigs that you can do and make the money work for you. So I feel like there is a, a big sense of curiosity for many of you about learning something new, a new craft, a new skill, a new um, learning something in the past, you might not have been patient enough to do it or you didn't feel the need or the, the necessity. But now you're trying to, you know, it, it's like there's a big paradigm shift regarding resources for you. And it's not that you're obsessive about it or you're worried that you don't have enough. It's just you're at a point now where things are going well. Life is really, you know, at a peak, at a peak, okay? And you're sitting on massive amount of um, financial wealth and you want to explore other avenues so in the past you're just like oh I, i'm not a greedy person i just want to have enough but i feel coming in for this month you're thinking about what can i do that is a little bit more risky but it has a lot of gain so i feel like there is um um, a, a little bit of a risky behavior coming in okay not in a bad way because i feel like you're uh you're steady and solid enough and so take calculated risks, do your research, and I feel something is going to spark 
off some great ideas for you when it comes to new income generating endeavors. Uh, for those of you who are self-employed, I do see expanding your business, so possibly having to rent a bigger office in order to accommodate new clients or to have your inventory, okay, store your inventory. And for people who are self-employed, I'm also seeing as well you taking trips to go to people where your clients are. So rather than having an office, um, I feel like you find more joy and more personal enjoyment um, going out to meet your clients where they are okay so finances is really really good for you guys the second cluster here is all about burying ourselves in work okay so there has been a recent heartache or some type of a separation that recently happened between you and um, somebody in your life okay and I feel as if you are right now um, it could be a business partnership that went sour where you're the one that's kind of left having to take care of everything because the other person is no longer in the picture you can no longer depend on them and so you're kind of like manning the fort okay and then for others of you a recent breakup and now you're like diving into work 100 percent so that you can you know kind of like um forget about what exactly happen like forget about what happened in the work environment for others of you there might have been elite people that you're really close to in the present work environment leaving so that means more positions are going to be opening up and so you can definitely send out you know resumes start applying for all of these uh, vacant opening because I feel like they're going to be filling in fast okay so you have some really good ideas and good plans that you're trying to implement or some strategies that you're undertaking so that you can slip into a promotional role or you can slip into a higher paying position so I feel like there are some changes here in the work front and then others just burying yourself at work trying to forget you know a recent heartache or a recent separation from another person um, I'm also feeling as well if you are working in close proximity with another person and you might not you know see eye to eye um, focus on your work keep your nose to the grindstone be um, you know mind your own like you're not, I want to say just never mind what they're doing worry about what you're doing um, keep your head low lay low and focus on your work and the other person should not you know register on your radar when you're busy doing your work okay uh, there is a little bit of uh, jealousy and I want to say instigating energy in your work environment like somebody who is a little bit catty a little bit gossipy but I feel like it's um, it's an ongoing thing so it's not targeting you specifically I just feel like it's a background noise that you wish wasn't there okay what's coming through as well we have the eight of wands and the seven of cups this is online dating. So the Eight of Wands is like communication from a distance, talking to somebody in rapid succession, such as via text messages, uh, messenger. Um, um, I, I wanna say that as well, text messages, phone calls, okay? So you're getting rapid, rapid communication from other people. And I feel like this is related here to online inventory or online dating. The Seven of Cups is usually virtual reality. You have all these choices laid out in front of you and you're trying to get to know all of these options. So I feel like I've got a really big singles vibe for people. Uh, you guys are trying to take your love life to the next level. You're trying to meet the right person. You're at a point where career and work is going really well and you feel like you need to have a love relationship in your life in order to feel, you know, fulfilled, in order to feel like um, every area is complete. When certain things are incomplete for you guys in certain aspects, uh, it can feel really off kilter or unbalanced so I feel like you're looking for more harmony you're looking for more balance you're looking for that yin to your yang and you're looking for somebody that can make you feel whole and complete you so I feel like a lot of people are venturing into the dating world and um, making quite a good impression because you've got all of these um, suitors kind of like knocking at your door okay it's like you see these choices which is seven choices but you have more options that are actually f coming in so I feel like you're still definitely selective about who you let into your uh, inner sanctum which is good okay be discriminate and you know 
with online dating nowadays things are not always what it, they seem so you want to be a little bit careful okay I'm also feeling as well some of you are looking for property online looking for properties online and you're really exploring like outlandish um, locations okay so let's just say you hate the cold let's just say you hate the cold but you're looking at you know the Swiss Alps you're looking at like places that are um, a little bit more isolated with a lot of um, you know with seasons and you might get snowed in in the winter time but you're looking at places and you're keeping all of your options open you have a very idealistic and also a romanticized vision of what you want your life to look like the new house to be like or even wanting to have that retirement or a vacation home so you're looking at really out of the way places okay um, Mercury retrograde is over, you know, since the 23rd of December. So the time to look right now is fine. And, you know, as long as it's not like from that time period, I feel like you're in the right, um, in the right mindset. Okay. What's coming through as well? We have here the devil and the six of swords. And um, this is a really good card overall. Well, a really good cluster of card because it basically means no longer keeping ourselves tied up and chained up with a relationship partner or with toxic energies okay over it can feel really thrilling and so you might you know succumb to that thrill and put your needs second and so this is a major reminder here that you know we all have our our reasons for breaking away from unhealthy habits and people can tell you try this try that but until you can arrive at that truth for yourself, you're not going to be able to implement other people's advice and be able to break away from an addiction, okay? So, I mentioned for Aquarius last month, they're doing massive um, self-improvement. And I feel this is coming in for you, but you've been doing improvement all along. This is just breaking away. From, it's like freeing yourself finally 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 freeing yourself it's not just you know setting mm, a, like a new year's resolution this is like deep rooted freeing ourselves and the reason I say freeing is the six of swords here this is sailing away from a troublesome toxic situation and you don't know where you're going you know because like sh her she's um she's got her back to her future so she's not looking out there and figuring out okay i'm going to this better place she just knows that whatever i'm going to wherever this person is taking me or wherever i end up it's still better than this so i'm refusing to let this control me and i'm moving forward so i do feel many of you are standing in your own sense of empowerment and you're getting a lot of support and help as well by um, you know in the process of drifting shifting away or drifting away from that you're getting a lot of help from other people and you're getting a lot of positive accolades from other people like you're getting the the congratulations that you're finally able to do this in terms of your advice you have a really good month ahead of you okay so stay on track all right let exes go okay I can't stress that enough it's a new year so whatever is not working in the past you just need to you know find peace in it mourn it and let it go you have uh, so many positive things coming in right now and work is really you know where your head is at but i feel like there's this natural pool here so let me talk about your spiritual advice we have here an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn okay and we have as well the lovers. So this is a third party interference type of a situation. This is a situation where there is great chemistry between you and another person, right? If it's an earth sign that you're partnering up with. So there's reciprocity, there's a sense of generosity and there's a sense of stability associated with this. So don't be, you know, don't let the fears and the trust issues and the, um, that, that past, situation that left a bitter taste in your mouth don't let that affect you coming in for this new year you're dealing with new people and you're dealing with new energies and the energy seems to me like it's reciprocated okay